a theory. Where's the iFixit HomePod teardown? I don't have that information in iFixit HomePod teardown. Alrighty, so because iFixit um, hasn't done a teardown, we're gonna do a teardown. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on with iFixit. They took about a month and a half to do a teardown um, of a uh, iPad Air 4. Um, it's not like you're doing teardowns every day. They have these alleged teardown engineers. I don't know if I actually went to school or anybody that knows how to do the screwdriver is an engineer. So, um, this isn't very easy to do. I wouldn't suggest taking this apart unless the warranty is gone. Um, the power cable is not replaceable, so don't try pulling it. First, you're going to need to remove the uh, rubber bottom. It's on there pretty good. Okay, very simple. Next, there are two, three T6 screws holding on the bottom cover. I guess it's a mounting point for it. There's little um, rubber washers, so make sure we don't lose those. Again, maybe somebody knows what iFixit is doing, but uh, I've been pretty unhappy with them. Their replacement display for the iPhone 10 is terrible, so I had to sell my phone, but uh, that's okay. All right, so next, and this is the part where there's kind of no turning back after this, T8 screw. Once this is removed, you can then separate the mesh. Um, there is no drawstring. On the original HomePod, there is a, this is a mesh fabric for the HomePod. There's a drawstring. Let's see the drawstrings right here. When you pull it, um, it tightens up, making it easier to install on the HomePod. Not with HomePod Mini. With HomePod Mini, you're gonna actually need a needle and thread to put this back together. So, I know, because this is the second one I've taken apart, or will be taken apart. So, let's remove the T. 10, it's either a T8 or T10, but uh, just remove the screw. Okay, it's the point of no turning back. Um, because this is all they give you for a string. Oh, okay, Let's see? So it looks like one of those fruits. Very nice. You can see this is the inner sock. This which goes around. This then snaps off, as you can see. Little button, like so. Now pull power cord through the home pod fabric and flip it inside out. There you go. Next, we're gonna need to remove the top. Removing a the top, there's one, two, three, four little covers we're gonna need to remove. Um, so grab a black stick or nylon spudger, and we're gonna flip these right up. Okay. Next, we're gonna to need to remove the four torque six screws. All right, so now we're gonna remove the four Torx T6 screws from the top. Okay, so with those four torque screws removed, you notice we removed, that's the ambient light sensor right here, by the way. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna insert some sort of prying tool um, and pry the enclosure apart, it's held together with a little bit of adhesive. Um, a lot easier compared to the real HomePod. You can almost use your fingernails. Okay, careful. You don't wanna rip that ribbon cable you're going to have a bad day. Next, let's remove the light diffuser. Just held on with double stick tape around the perimeter. Those are your LEDs. Now, 
Next, we need to disconnect that ribbon cable from the logic board. So grab your tool and whip it up. And it should come right out. To remove this, we're just gonna remove one, two, three, four, I think they're T3 or T4 screws, but uh, I'm not going to because there's nothing really to see here. So this is really just the top. Next, we're gonna remove the logic board. To do that, it's also quite straightforward. You need to disconnect this ribbon cable right here. So pop open your connector there and then disconnect it. Try not to break it because that would be a bad thing. Okay, there we go. Put that latch back down. Very simple. All right, now we need to remove the four Torx T6 screws from the logic board. These two screw the logic board to the uh, speaker terminals and these two just hold the board in place. So we're gonna remove those screws. Okay, so you can pry up on the logic board. You can also use a little bit of heat. It's held in with adhesive here and here. All right, so now that this is heated up, pry it out a little more easily. Lifted up just a little bit. You can be greeted with a connector right here. I think it's either 10 or 12 pin. There's no easy way to remove it. So, what I do is I just carefully hold the board and jiggle it out. Even with a uh, black stick, try to help you with this, but it's not super easy to do. So you kind of have to pull and, whoops, sorry about that, and jiggle it out. And uh, there you go. You can see those are the speaker terminals, which are held into contact right here. And you can also see this cable is glued. To the inside there. So, as far as reassembly, it's mostly the same. What I like to do is grab the board. I also like to tape this out of the way. So, we'll do that. All right, so to remove the bottom, I simply remove the four torque screws. Again, be careful, this ribbon cable is glued, so you're going to have to carefully separate it. In this case, it already is, but just be on the lookout. All right, now, with that cable removed, should, I have to make sure these don't get snagged. separate. There's your passive radiators on each side. There's your, your speaker. There's that home pod cable. Don't pull this because if you want to remove it, remove these screws here. And you'll notice the cable Remove the speaker. You don't need to remove all four. You can put just 
remove two. All right, I'm back, taped out of the way. These like to move around, so just be unaware. So this, you can sort of have it rest against like that. Instead of going under, you can have it rest. And then you can also use, to support the other end, you can use the flat end of the black sticks budger. So, for reinstallation, line up. go. Make sure our speaker terminals are where we left them. Got my thread. Got my needle. Got to thread it all the way through and then overlap. And then, just then, you can pull this. Don't pull it too tight or it'll break. Okay, so, again, if you, there's no drawstring, like on the regular HomePod, you can actually see there's these drawstrings here. But when you pull them, this whole thing comes together like that. Very fortunate on the regular HomePod, not so much on the Mini. I suspect they don't even repair them. They just take this and throw it in the dumpster. I just can't imagine it being economical to repair. So, pull this a little bit tight. And hopefully it doesn't break. Otherwise, I'd be doing this again. Which is not what I want to do. Pull nice and tight. Mm. Now, before we go too tight, I want to take our thing here, bottom disc that sort of holds it in place. It's actually a T10. That was wrong. I said it was a T8. Um, get that on there just a little bit like that. I'm almost thinking, and of course, I've got it here instead of here, but I'm thinking that perhaps the thread came up through here and they pulled it and then snipped it or something but they pulled the thread got it taut clamped that down um but truth be told i'm not really sure also don't really care just gonna lightly put this on there okay and then push this down and hold it in place and then secure and then nice and tight and now you've redone the outer mesh 3d fabric on a home pod. Now you can just get your clear clips and clip it. And then continue with reassembly like normal. This is not an air tag, although maybe I should tell people it is. You can see it's keyed. And so is this. So it's going to end up going on like this. I cleaned up original tape, but this is how it would be attached, firm. However, there are three screws that hold it on. You can see they have a shoulder 
a shoulder on them. That shoulder goes through little silicone rubber grommet. And so that allows a little bit of pivot. So that goes in like that. And the three screws are screwed in. See this still can move around a little bit. And this is gonna be keyed in like that. Let's add some glue. Alright, so I've added the glue. Not really sure what I'm gonna pick up, but we can then take our piece and again line up the key. on there for a little bit. There you go.